Hey guys, so I've been wanting to embroider a crew neck for a really long time now and I finally got around to doing it. I was inspired by mainly two things for this. One, the trendy look of crew necks layered over collared button downs. And two, BTS Namjoon's mono album, namely the term and song Moonchild. I love Namjoon and I love mono and I just wanted this word Moonchild embroidered on a piece of clothing to have for the rest of my life as one does. Today I will show you how I embroidered this kind of messy but very cute crew neck sweater. For supplies, I bought this Hanes navy blue sweater in a size small. It was like $10 on Amazon. It's from the men's section and I'm not sure how much I like it to be honest. It's really long and the sleeves are really long too, but the neck is tiny and it's like hard to pull over my head. I don't really get it. But I will say the material of the sweater itself is pretty thin and I think perfect to embroider through because it wasn't hard to push the needle through at all. But I thought the color was perfect to fit the vibe I was going for. I'm also using white embroidery thread and an embroidery ring that I'm borrowing from my mom. In my last embroidery video, I didn't use an embroidery ring and I've since learned from my mistake. I also used some other things that I forgot to show like a scissor, a needle, and an exacto knife or again just a scissor and a marker or pen. I made my design on Procreate. I'm using the Shrick Hand font, which I've been loving a lot recently, and I basically rasterized the text layer to make it into an image. Then I'm warping the image to give it this cool, wavy kind of look. I added some other doodles as well that I think looked cute. I export the image to my computer and open the design on Google Docs to make it bigger. I don't have an exact measurement, but I just tried to make the size of the image big enough to fit on an 8.5 times 11 inch page while still keeping it on a single sheet of paper then I just printed it out I ran into a problem right away because I don't do enough research and I really didn't know how I would move the design onto the sweater so I tried <laughs> three different things and all three of them failed finally I realized that I could just use an exacto knife and individually cut out each letter so for this I would really suggest practicing on how to hold and use an exacto knife beforehand because this thing really does not move in the way you think it will. It was difficult and I practiced a lot and I still messed up. So also make sure that you have a hard surface under you. I'm just using a piece of thick cardstock that I had from a scrapbook book. I'm cutting out all of the letters for the O and D since they have a hole in the middle of the letter. I'm cutting out only the inside of the letter hole thingy first because I want to make sure that I have the right shape for both the inside hole and then the outside outline. Then I put the design printout on the sweater and I'm using a ruler to measure from both sides of the armpit area to the beginning of the letter to make sure that it is centered. I'm also trying to figure out how high up on the sweater I want the design. I'm taping it down and using a marker to trace each of the letters. For this, I'm kind of going under the paper a little bit, get the true outline of the letters that I want. And then again, I'm just cutting out the outer ring of the O and D using the X-Acto knife and I outlined those on the sweater as well. My design is really long horizontally and the embroidery ring that I'm using isn't big enough so I'm going to just do half of my design at one time. You basically, for the embroidery ring, put the piece without the silver fastener under the first layer of the fabric that you're doing your embroidery on and then put the top piece and tighten the screw, you know, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey to make sure that the fabric is taut. Now for the actual embroidering, I'm just using one of my mom's sewing needles because they worked fine the last time and I am cutting about an arm span length of string. If the string is too short, I find that I'm just using it up faster and then I have to replace it more often and it's just easier to make it longer and, and then have to change it less often. I'm splitting my embroidery thread into two sections. Embroidery floss is six stranded but this can look really thick and make bigger holes in the fabric so I decided to deal with three stranded thread instead. To unwind it, I separate it into two sections of three strings each while pulling the two sections apart from the other end. After that, I take one of my sections then I loop the string through the needle eye and I'm making a double knot at the end of the string to secure it so then it doesn't come out through the sweatshirt when I'm embroidering it. I'm going to start by embroidering my outline for each of the letters on the left half of the design. I struggled a bit deciding which stitch I wanted to use but I decided to do the chain stitch because I like the 
cohesive look it gives. So for the chain stitch, I'm pushing the needle up from the back of the sweater so the double knot that I just made stops the needle from coming out. Then I push the needle back down near the stitch I just made and I'm making a loop. I push the needle back up from the back of the sweater a few centimeters ahead of the previous stitches I had just made and slip the needle through the loop then pull so that it makes this kind of chain link. I'm using this method to outline all of my letters. So for this part, I have some advice. It took me a long time and I had to unwind it and rewind it and unwind it and rewind it a lot because I kept embroidering through the crew neck neckline. I kept folding up the fabric and then pushing the needle through two layers of the sweater and then I would only realize after doing another stitch I would have to pull back. So my advice for that is if you're pressing on the needle and it feels like you're putting more force than usual it might mean that you're actually embroidering through two layers of fabric instead of one around the curves of the design so letters like the o's or the curves of the m and the n i make smaller stitches so then you can really follow the outline better and actually capture the curve if you make a mistake it's not that hard to hide it i found that with the chain stitch you can just keep adding to it and then it sort of fixes how it looks so if I needed to make one end pointier or I needed to fix one of my curves I could just keep adding on top of it and it wasn't that hard to hide my mistakes and so that was nice when I'm done with the thread and it's getting too short to keep making knots I just push the needle to the back of the crew neck and snip the thread so that it's long enough that I can still make a double knot to secure all the knots I just made to fill in the design I was at first going to do a satin stitch look which would make it look really clean and uniform but I kind of liked how the chain stitch outline looked I'm not really paying attention to what direction my stitches are going in anymore and I'm mainly just focusing on filling in all of the gaps so I just start from a random section of the letter and try to fill in that little area and then I'll move on to another section and this was super relaxing to do it kind of felt like mindlessly coloring but even more satisfying because you're using your hands a lot more during this time i was actually watching some episodes of the second season of hilda if you haven't watched the cartoon i really recommend it the art style is very pretty in the storyline and the characters are just so great it's uh, a wonderful show besides the back pain that this gave me by giving me the posture of a banana for like 10 hours i really enjoyed this part of filling in the letters i also used this time to have the original printed design out in front of me zoomed in at like 200% and I tried to make my outline better and fix all the curves and edges and everything that I had made before because now since I was using the same chain stitch you can't really tell if there was a mistake or I'm like adding a lot more to the outline because it's the same stitch throughout the entire letter and this is how it turned out I think it looks really nice so now I've moved the embroidering to over to outline the second half of the word and I'm repeating the same process in using the chain stitch it was kind of easier this time around after having gotten comfortable embroidering the difficult letters like M and N. This entire video is basically just a Namjoon appreciation video. I think especially RM's way of writing and thinking and speaking like everything about it is so warming. It feels very warm and special. Here's the finished sweater. It is super cute in my opinion and yeah it took me maybe three and a half days of embroidering for like six to ten hours a day it took me a long time especially because i kept messing up i'm not sure if i will be cropping the sweater because it's really long and i don't know how it if i like how it looks sucked into jeans when it's this long i kind of suck at making big decisions like this and i don't want to regret it later if i crop it wrong so i'm just going to let this sit and fester in my mind for a little bit as it is i'm also not going to be adding the original moon or star design doodle things that i had until later maybe because i kind of like how it looks without anything let me know if you think i should add the moons and stars like the original design and if you think i should crop it because i'm cute Curious. maybe it'll help me make a decision if i do make any changes to the crew neck from this point on i'll likely show it on my instagram so yeah thank you for watching this video i hope it helped in some way or at least inspired you to pick up an embroidery needle yourself and watch an actual tutorial on embroidery and yeah have a great day and stream mono bye <laughs>